soldiers need to be strong and resilient. If a soldier is not strong enough to adapt to all the conditions of the war, he becomes a burden for the army, and this burden will surely disappear one day. However, sometimes the removal of this burden is not a good thing, because sometimes this burden that is lifted can come back twice as much. And when we talk about this removal of the burden, we are talking about the disappearance of these soldiers, and we are talking about them leaving the army. The doubling of the burden is related to the surrender of these soldiers to the enemy, and Russia has been experiencing this situation in recent days. As you know, in the two-year war, many Russian soldiers deserted and surrendered to the Ukrainian army. Of course, we will discuss the reasons for this in a later in this report. So, we also know that such a situation caused big problems for the Russian armed forces, and recently, a group of soldiers of the Russian armed forces surrendered to the Ukrainian army. Moreover, during this process, Russian soldiers published a video and explained why they surrendered. So, what are the details about this event? Let's take a look at developments together. As the Pioneer team, we continue to bring you developments regarding the Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. You can also support me and my hardworking team by using the super thanks button below the videos. Thank you for your support and let's start if you are ready, the Pioneer reports. The Russian army continues to struggle on the front line and a strong Ukrainian resistance on the other hand and the exhaustion and fatigue of the Russian soldiers on the other hand continues to pose a major challenge for the future of the Russian armed forces. The determined stance of the Ukrainian armed forces on the front line is causing irreparable damage to the Russian army and the Russian soldiers are tired and exhausted. For many Russian soldiers, there is a feeling of reaching the end of the road, and this leads to a complete detachment of the Russian soldiers from the reality of the war. In short term, those problems are not initially obvious, but in the beginning everything is quite normal and normal. <laughs> but as time goes on, it has a huge impact on the psychology of every human being, and this is exactly what Russian soldiers are experiencing in this war, which is now two years old. And on top of the psychological devastation suffered by the Russian soldiers, there is an added problem. This is the strong decision taken by the Russian war leadership, and these decisions are wearing down the Russian army even more. According to some sources, almost every Russian soldier is struggling with psychological problems. So, not so long ago, units of the Russian armed forces captured Avdeevka. In many of these reports that I reported to you on the fighting there, I mentioned that the Ukrainian army's decisions to retreat and defend further back had an impact, and this is reported by some sources at the Ukrainian defeat. However, in order to talk about this, we should have seen a continuation of the Russian army's advances, but this did not happen, and the Russian army was stuck in Avdeevka. This was because the Ukrainian army tactically used the methods of wearing down the Russian army, and it worked. It is reported that the worn out of the Russian soldiers surrendered to the Ukrainian army was also there. A very striking image has emerged in recent days, and it shows a group of Russian soldiers announcing their decision to surrender to the Ukrainian army. The statements of the soldiers is as follows. 114th Brigade threatened us like animals. One day of the transfer, it sent us at night to the Avdiivka cook factory, and it was asked to send us to an attack with a machine gun for magazines and minimal ammunition. My god, what's a disaster? We understood that this was a suicide to participate in the attacks under these conditions. At the same time, the total number of military personnel in the unit was at the most 300 people. Out of a total of 220 men in two units, there could be no more than 70 left. And the fighter said that during the assault on Ovdivka as part of the veterans team, they faced exactly the same situation when they were left without evacuation. At the same time, some of the military personnel were left without documents, many without personal belongings, and most of the documents were looted, just like the personal belongings of the men left behind. Everything was looted, and um, even it was given to us was bought as our expense. They preferred to hide what happened, and they don't want the Russian citizens to know what happened there, and it was not possible to stay there any longer, minimum ammunition, and minimum supplies, minimum living conditions. Many of our friends surrendered to the Ukrainians whom they told us were the enemy, and they are in good conditions. It is not, no longer possible to fight under these conditions. So we will surrender to the Ukrainians and cooperate. The longer we stay here, it will be a disaster for us. So as we can see, there is a great burden 
and psychological destruction among the Russian soldiers. This situation needs to be well utilized by the Ukrainian army. And under these circumstances, if the Ukrainian armed forces use more effectively the calls for the surrender that they have been making since the beginning of the war, the number of Russian soldiers surrendering could increase. The Russian army is in a very difficult situation in all respects. Most importantly, the Russian armed forces have completely lost prestige and psychological superiority, especially in recent days, the operation carried out by the Free Russian Legion and the Russian Volunteer Corps have been a major factor in the Russian army's loss of the psychological superiority. According to reports, the majority of Russian soldiers on the front line have been talking about the events in Belgrade in recent days. A report on this issue was delivered to us by our local sources. Among the noteworthy statements and reports of our local sources on the subject are the following. Russian soldiers are many kilometers away from Belgrade, but they are aware of what is happening. Many of them are deeply saddened by what happened, and there are many rumors about the Russian war leadership. Russian soldiers were already angry at the war leadership for what happened on the front line, and this anger has now reached a different level. I have heard rumors that some Russian soldiers want to leave the front line and go to Belgrade. It was not possible to confirm them, but these rumors may be true. In fact, the Russian territory can be violated, raises uh, questions in the minds of the Russian soldiers. And if they are at war to protect their country, how can their borders be crossed? This is a matter of great curiosity for the Russian soldiers and the Russian commanders try to prevent Russian soldiers from talking about this issue. It is clear that the Russian soldiers are going through a mentally difficult period and the Ukrainian armed forces have a very important opportunity to seize. It is the opportunity... So if this opportunity is utilized well, the Ukrainian troops who are in a difficult situation on the front line can be relieved a little bit. Of course, the continuation of the support for the Ukrainian army is also very important. So if the Ukrainian army is supported as it was at the beginning of the war, Russia will face a major catastrophe. And this is the biggest fear of Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation. So it's time for the world leaderships to say, let's finish this. So what do you think? Do you think there will be an increase in the number of Russian soldiers surrendering to the Ukrainian army? What do you think about the surrender of the Russian soldiers? And do you think Russian soldiers are demoralized by the Belgrad affair? Let me know in the comments because you know that I read and I care about all of your comments.